Hey everyone, my name is Lovestar. Welcome back to my Fairy Core Let's Play. Now today is going to be a pretty awesome episode because I am going to be doing a little bit of Christmas decorating today because as the time of the recording, it is the 18th of December and I feel like it's finally time we should decorate. Um, I kind of always put off decorating for the holidays, especially for <laughs> Christmas for some reason, um, even in real life. But I suppose it's time we finally do some decorating. Um, also, I've been slowly letting myself collect some source gems here because we're gonna need them uh, to make source stone, which I actually- oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, wait. Wait. No. No. Oh my god. Peachy pancake. Dude, I told you to sit down. Why did you- Oh my god, we're getting out of here. This is dangerous. This is not safe. Okay, let's go. Let's go home. I need to put Peachy Pancake away because uh, she almost died last time because there was- What was it? Was it a Spriggan? Anyway, it was just a mess. I don't want her to die, even though she will respawn. I just don't want to go through the hassle. Um, so we're gonna put her away. She got a little bit of um, air today or last episode, I suppose, I took her out. But it's finally time for her to go back inside because I do not want her to die. Also, I think we are almost done with um, the winter season, if I if I am correct. Let's see. Oops. <laughs> so we're in late winter. We only have seven more days of winter, um, which is good. So it's good It's good that we're actually doing the Halloween, uh, not the Halloween, the Christmas decorating today because it's. it seems like winter is almost over. Where is she? Peachy? Did I set her down? What? Oh my god. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> she was sitting down. I thought that she was standing up, but apparently she wasn't. Anyway, Peachy, it's time to go back inside. Seems like she was ob ob objecting, because she was like, Nope, I'm staying right here. And then you're gonna have to get me. Come all the way back. Yes, come in here. Come on. She's low health. I need to give her food. Um... What does she eat again? Rotten flesh, right? That should heal her. Yay! Okay, good. Stop waving at me and come inside your house, girl! They, like, don't follow. Come on. Okay, there you go. Get in your bed. It's very cold outside. You need to bundle up and stay warm. Alright. Well, Melody is working overtime for me 24-7, so she's staying with me. <laughs> um, she does have a house, though. And, you know, we should actually decorate her house for Christmas because we're going to do some decorating today. Now, I don't know about you guys, I personally have grown up celebrating Christmas, so that's like the only holiday that I know. Um, but if you celebrate another holiday, then happy holidays to you guys and Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. But um, I hope you guys are excited. I think Christmas is a really fun holiday or just, yeah, the holiday season is ge in general is super nice. Because you get to, like, you know, have fun, decorate, make make food, and uh, get presents, and give presents. It's, it's just a nice time. But anyway, also, I actually put on the, the Overgrown Tool Texture Pack, which is something that I was using on my other Let's Play, and I decided to equip it for this world as well, because I think it's just so cute. And of course, like, at Fairy Core, you need to have little flowery tools. I think it just makes sense. So yeah, now we have, like, basically three Tool Texture Packs on. I have the Swords to Wands, the Celestial Tools, and the Floral Tools. I guess I just really like my, my tool decoration, or my tool customization. But anyway, I'm going to actually put some flowers in Melody's room just so she can have, you know, a little bit of a nicer lamp. And okay, I'm going to put the pink one somewhere else. So let's see. I actually installed a mod, um, a Christmas themed mod. Well, I guess it's more of like a holiday in general. Um, it's called Maiden's Merrymaking and it's so cute. You guys are going to love it. Oh, ow. Don't stand in that, Melody. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where should I put this flower? Oh, she's sinking. Um, let me, I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to my sons, which I hope they're still alive. I know Eric is always off on his night shift, on his night shift, but Grover, you better not be dying anymore, okay? I'll be really upset. Anyway, I can give you your little flower lamp. Dude, I love those little flower lamps. They're so cute. I wish I had one in real life. Uh, anyway. Okay, so let's, uh, let's sleep first. Oh my god, by the way, I'm looking here at Luna, and that reminds me, um, I saw a few comments that you guys left that said that I actually didn't see the black cat in the swamp last episode, which is, like, 
What? Like, dude, I didn't even notice that when I was editing. That's crazy. I can't believe I didn't see it, like, literally twice in this case. That's so awful! I feel so stupid now. I could have gotten a black cat, but I didn't see it. No! I don't know how to get back to that swamp, though. It's like, it was really far away, and I didn't mark the coordinates. So I guess we'll never know. We'll never have that poor black cat. Okay. Anyway. So, I guess I should clear my- what is this? How did I get this? Oh, it gave me gold. Nice. Oh, wait, no. It gave me this. Oh, Frostwalker. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's start decorating. I'm going to see what I can make. And actually, the first thing I wanted to do... Well, let me show you guys. It's going to be pretty awesome. <laughs> so let me just put the stuff away really quick. Okay, so I put some stuff away. I'm going to put these... Uh, mm, I want to get some more mushrooms too, but I guess we can do that later. And I need to put my fish in the freezer. That was for my cat. <laughs> That I didn't get! I'm sad. Okay. Anyway, so the first thing I wanted to make was actually, let me go to the to the mod here. So there's a lot of stuff. Check this out. And there's actually like Halloween decorations too and costumes. Um, and like music discs. So dude, this is like awesome. I wish we could craft these discs. That would be pretty nice. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is... I need some leather, I think. Some leather and red wool. Okay, I don't actually... How do I not have red wool? I thought I used to have a bunch of that. Huh, okay. So, and then we need leather, which... Oh, did I... I used it all up on those cows. I mean, not the... <laughs> on the bookshelves. Okay, well, it's fine. We can actually go ahead and breed our cows. Because I still need to do that. So let me grab my wheat. I'm so glad that all my chests are organized now in the kitchen. Although I still need to learn where everything is. But I guess with that little, uh, the little pop-up now, it's going to be a bit easier. Okay, so let's go breed some cows and they all grew up into adults, which is good. Okay, they're ready to breed. This is very good. Let's make some babies. Make some babies. And now, you know what I should have done last time? I should have used my knife because this will guarantee, oops, this will guarantee a drop of leather. Okay, so we need one, eight. I, I think eight leather. That's a lot. I'm gonna have to kill a lot of cows. Okay, let's try. So that's six. One more. Oh, ten! Okay, cool. So I probably killed one too many. All right, well, at least we have some extra leather, but I guess I don't need it anymore for the time being because we have our enchanting table. It's complete. That makes me so happy. I got a, such a good enchant, enchant on this pickaxe, which makes me so happy. Maybe I can actually go mining and, well, I'm still going to be terrified, but at least I'll have a better reason. Like, oh, I have an amazing pickaxe, so it's going to be worth it. I should probably clear up Melody's inventory. I also wanted to make her a... Uh, What's it called? A backpack. Um, however, <laughs> we're gonna have to do that later because uh, that's not the objective for today. Sorry, Melody. Um, okay, so let's do this. I need, uh, I'm just gonna grab a flower real quick so I can get some dye because we need a red wool. And now, <laughs> okay, you guys are gonna love this. Let's make this. Yeah! Ugly Christmas sweater penguin! Okay, so I'm gonna take off my helmet, or not my helmet, my chest plate. Look at this! It's horrible! <laughs> it's so hideous! It looks like a very, very thick sweater. I look like a, like I bulked up and now I have like 40 pounds of muscle, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> so it's really cute. I love the little penguin! Oh! Adorable. Okay, so we're gonna wear this for this episode, even though the armor is definitely not great. My chest plate is gonna die. I kind of want to make myself just a new pair of diamond armor, so I can maximize the enchantment. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna do that next time. We're not not this episode. There's so many things to do in this world. I get so overwhelmed sometimes. Okay, so let's see what should we actually make. So we can make Christmas lights. I'm not gonna make any Christmas lights just because we already. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna take a while. Okay, so I really obviously want to make a Christmas tree. Holly tree sapling. Oh, cool. Okay, I guess some things we gotta find. Um, how do you make this? Ooh, we should make a wreath. We should make a wreath. Spruce leaves. I can get that. And a bow. Okay, red carpet. 
You know what? I should probably dye some of my sheep red since I have a feeling we're gonna have to use a lot of it. Yeah, we're probably gonna need a lot of red wool. So let me go, let me go make some red sheeps. Um, I'm gonna use some of these poppies and, um, okay, I'm just gonna turn them all into dye and we're gonna dye a few of our wool and we're gonna also dye a few of our sheep. So I currently just have pink and white sheep, but let's dye some of them. Oh, look, an orange one. I do not need orange anymore, so we can dye you. We can dye you and you and you and you. Okay, and now I can make this into red wool and red carpet. So I think we need, we probably should just make six and then we can turn this into a bow. Awesome. Okay, let me get, get some spruce leaves. Okay, so besides besides Christmas decorating, I also want to do, I want to work on the Ars Nouveau stuff because I have, um, I have figured out how to make that pendant, or was the pedestal. Um, I just need to get some source, some source stone, and then I think we should be able to make it. So, yeah, um, let me put this stuff away. Okay, so I don't have any... Um, no spruce leaves. We can just grow some. If I don't already have some grown, I think I do. Let me see. And I should have sh shears. Shears as always. Okay, let's go do this. I'm so excited to decorate. Um, I've like barely even decorated in real life. <laughs> My Christmas tree is still not 100% decorated, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I... Anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a really great holiday and Christmas and everything. So I'm planning on making a few things. I want to make eggnog. I've never actually had eggnog before, but I really want to try it. So I'm going to try to make some. And I also want to try to make gingerbread cookies, which I've also never made, made before, but they are really good. So I'm going to see if I can make one. Um, and then I also wanted to make a pumpkin pie because I was going to make a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving, but, um, it just didn't end up happening. So I really want to try to do it this year or for Christmas. I know it's not in season, but whatever. I don't really care. I just really want to try pumpkin pie because I've only had, um, store-bought pumpkin pie and I've hated it so much, but I really want to like pumpkin pie. I really want to try a good pumpkin pie and be like, oh wow, this tastes so good. I've been missing out my whole life, but <laughs> it so far has not happened. Um, I think it's just the store-bought stuff is too sweet for me, so I really want to try making it myself um, so I can control how much sugar I put in it, um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. I want to try to make that. I have all the ingredients except for the pumpkin, so I'm going to have to get some puree probably. Okay, so we need to put our wreath up. So first, I'm going to put one on the door here, and this is a little awkward because I always put my doors inward. Man. <laughs> also, it's a double door, so it looks wrong either way. Maybe I can just put one here. That's cute. See, that, that works a lot better. And then for my house, I'll put it on the side and there. Oh, it's so adorable. It has like a weird visual glitch, but you know what? It's okay. If you don't move, it doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Oh my god, it's already nighttime again. The days are just passing by. Winter, be gone, winter. Well, I guess you can stay until this episode is over. <laughs> okay, so let me put this sweet away, and I really need to get some more food. Let me grab these potatoes. I should probably do some cooking later. Um, we can actually make some cookies right like gingerbread ah <gasps> oh, ah oh, they have cooking and like recipes this makes me very happy sweet potato pie oh that sounds quite good um i don't have access to sweet potatoes so we can make a hot cocoa we should do that let's make a hot cocoa i think we can do that actually oh wait do i have cocoa beans i don't think i do right ah I don't have any cocoa beans. I totally forgot about that. Okay, I guess we can't do that yet. Eggnog? Ooh, okay. We can make this! Milk, egg, sugar, and a mug. And let me go make that mug. Okay, we can do this. Let's try some eggnog. I've never had eggnog before. I literally do not know what to expect. Small spruce sapling? <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute. Okay, wait. Okay, let me make a mug. I hope it doesn't consume the mug after I drink it. Okay, let's see. So I need milk, sugar, and eggs. Such a standard ingredient. I think I need to milk a cow. Okay, 
We gotta milk a cow. I'm gonna get the egg and the sugar, and we're gonna do a quick run to the grocery store, aka my cow po my cow pen. I still keep calling it a parn. Let's make some eggnog. Hopefully it's a shapeless recipe, because I'm just gonna dump the ingredients. Okay, awesome! We have some eggnog! Melody, here, hold it. You can have a sip. Take a sip, Melody. What do you think? Is it quite delicious? Let's see what she says. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, maybe the eggnog put her to sleep. It was so relaxing. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's actually sit at my little apple table in my bedroom. So let's drink some eggnog. <laughs> in my stupid sweater. That was a really weird noise. I did not like that. Okay. Anyway, let's sleep. Good morning. Okay, so let's continue with the decorations. Um, I guess I can plant this tree, right? I hope it grows. I, I don't really know. <laughs> okay, let me put another one here and I want to make a Christmas tree. There's a holly tree sapling. I... Christmas tree. What? But how? How do you get it? Oh, dude. I don't know how this works. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I think for the sake of decoration, I'm just gonna spawn one in. Alright, so I gave myself a Christmas tree. Um, I just don't feel like going on a big exploration to try to find one, so we're just gonna spawn one in to make things a little bit simpler. Um, so how- <laughs> What are you supposed to do with this? I can't- I can't place it. What? So, <laughs> is this gonna grow a Christmas tree? I'm like, confused. Oh shoot, okay. Um, that is definitely a festive looking tree. I don't think this is the, the thing from the, from the... This isn't the Christmas tree I was expecting though, because I saw pictures from the mod and they were like little Christmas trees. I just don't know how to do it. Okay, I have an idea. So what if we use a tree stand? Oh! That makes more sense. Okay, so now we have a plain Christmas tree and I think we have to use the lights to decorate it. Oh, okay. Well, okay, I'm still gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna spawn this in. Okay, so we have a little Christmas tree. Um, I'm gonna cut- oh, I'm gonna cut this one down and I'm just gonna get rid of the- the materials. There we go. Okay. Because this was spawned in, so I'm not gonna keep it. So it can go- wait. Don't pick it up. Give me that. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna just- she's gonna pick it up, isn't she? Oh. Okay, let's go make a star. I think I have gold in my chest here. Yay, we have a lot, but we should probably get some more. Yay, we have a star! Awesome! We're getting so festive! Let's put it on top. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Okay, so... I wonder what this spruce tree will grow into. Let's see if I can grow this, because I wonder if this will just grow into- Ah, okay, so this grows into a little Christmas tree. I see, I see. Okay. I guess I didn't have to spawn one in, but, you know, it's okay. Just saving us a little bit of time here, because it's Christmas decorations after all. <laughs> all right, so we can also make some garlands, it seems. Okay, let me try to make this. We have bows, so we can make that. We can actually make one garland, so I'm gonna try and see what that looks like. There we go, and now I wonder if we can put lights in this specifically. Okay, we can do probably white lights would be easier. So you need glowstone, glass paint, iron nugget, and white dye. Luckily, I have a lot of glowstone, and I should have everything else. Okay, I'm gonna make two for now and see. Uh, let's make this. We need redstone. Oh my god, these recipes are really complicated. Okay, that took way too long. Okay, so I didn't really have enough materials for all three of them to have white lights, which kind of sucks because now I have these white bulbs and I don't know what to do with them. But I actually think we can just use the what we have. So, all right, I don't know where to put them. I might put them actually where my house balcony is. 
So right here, we actually used to put um, our Halloween decorations up here. So look, this still looks pretty adorable. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very humble start to our Christmas decorating. Maybe we can do some later. Anyway, I have um, cinnamon here because I want her to duplicate some clover leaves for me because I really don't have any. And I need them for green dye. So she's going to be just sitting here for a little bit while I go do my own stuff. So now I think what we can do, um, I want to work on the village today. That is obviously something we're going to do. But first, I also want to make the pedestal for Ars Nouveau because we need that essence still. So to make source stone, there should be a recipe here. I don't know. This should be first. Anyway, um, so to make source stone, we need stone and source gems. So we have four. So I hope it works with cobblestone. Damn it. Ugh, are you kidding me? Come on. Deep slate works. Okay, so I can probably use andesite? Okay, sure. <laughs> so I'll make- actually, it gives me eight. How much do I need? We need four? I think I need three pedestals, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna make- I'm gonna make 16. Um, let's go back to our fairy grove so I can make some more- uh, source source gems. We're gonna need a lot of these and actually I looked it up Source berries are not for making source stones. They're for actually making mana regen Potions, I guess or just they're supposed to be used for mana regeneration. So I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah So you can make like little cakes and stuff and like consumables basically So I wonder if you actually eat a source berry will it give you mana? Oh shoot. Oops Oh, yeah, so that's probably what I was missing last episode. I was so confused. I was like, wait, I thought they were for source stones. Source stones. Source? No, source gems. Oh my god. Too many words. <laughs> Too many sources. Um, okay. Can we harvest this? This is full grown, right? Yay! Okay, so I can't step on them or else they're gonna poison me. Ow. I hate that. Okay. Oh, Jesus! My god, that scared me. Okay, I don't have any freaking arrows still. Here we go again. This is what happened last time. Where's my book? Where's my book? Where's my book? Okay, okay, okay. Where is she? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm so glad I can't hit Melody by accident. Wait, let me eat a source gem. Source, source berry, source berry. Oh my god. I'm on a region. Come on, come on, come on. You got a region for me. You got a region for me. Ugh. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I got this. There's a zombie in an ugly Christmas sweater. Rapidly approaching. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. He's wearing a Christmas hat. That's so cute. Oh, he dropped it. Red Santa hat. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of conflicts conflicts with my skin, but it's okay. I'm wearing a Santa hat now. Yay. I guess we didn't even need to make ourselves the ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so let me regen because I'm gonna die. <laughs> Um, let me, so, okay, I have a source stone here. I probably should sleep. Oh my god, yeah, I really should sleep. Ooh. I can use my sleeping bag. Alright, so, let's make ourselves a pedestal. I think we need golden nuggets for that, so I should have probably brought some, but at least we have- Oh, we have a few here, and we can also use- We can turn this into some gold nuggets. And- Oh my god, there's just things everywhere! Stop! Oh my god. Stupid fairies. Anyway. We can make it out! Okay, so I'm gonna do- We need three, I think? Um, let me put this armor away. My inventory is so clogged. Wow, I really need to make some more arrows. Okay, let me make another one and last one. Yay, we had enough for it. I'm so happy. Okay, so we're gonna have to move this. Um, I'm gonna put it here. This is actually a perfect location because it's like, yeah, little cross. Anyway, so this, I think, is how we should do it. Um, let me go check really quick. By the way, we're almost level 30 again, so I think after I hit level 30... I'm going to try to make 
Uh, maybe a chest plate. I should probably just invest in a better chest plate because protection is so important in this world. Okay, let me pick up this stuff. Thank you, cinnamon. Okay. Um, I'm getting my materials again. So we're gonna need sugar, milk, and a fermented spider eye. Where did I put my spider eye? Damn it. Alright, I got everything. So, let's try to do this. I need to put the source gem in the middle, which we actually have conveniently one. Um, no recipe found. Okay, I think I need to place this stuff first. So, sugar from a despite- I don't know if it's like- Milk has to be on the left, but let's just try. Let's just try how it's it appears here. So from a spider right there and sugar here. Okay, please work. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, it's working. Crafting admiration essence at source nearby to increase craft speed. So I did hear something about that. I don't know exactly what that means. I think you need to put source jars actually. <gasps> We could try to make this actually. Okay, wait. Mm. Creative source jar. What the heck is that? Okay, let me try to do the source jar. I don't know what you have to put in it. I'm guessing maybe source berries. I don't know. Let's just try. I'm gonna get myself some glass and I'm gonna craft some source jars. I'm honestly just winging this mod at this point. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just trying things and hoping it works. Throwing, throwing, throwing stuff at the wall to see if it sticks. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I had to keep running back and forth all the time, so I'm just kind of uh, cutting it out for you guys. Anyway, let's see if we can do this. I need some arc wood, arch wood. I still don't know how to say it, but I'm just gonna call it both, I guess, depending on the day. So I think it was the slabs, right? Yes, okay. Let's make some slabs. There we go. So I'm just gonna try making one for now and see what I can do with it. Acquire a source jar. Okay, so I think you need to put them maybe here. Okay, let me put this. Nope. What are you supposed to- don't tell me you have to put source gems in there. Should I make another imbuement chamber so I can make multiple things? I should probably do that. How do I do it again? Oh, it's really easy. Okay, so I just need gold and archwood. See, I, I'm, I'm switching all the time. I really should go mining just to get gold at, the, at this point, because we really need a lot of it. Um, man, maybe next episode we should go mining. I don't know. Um, let me put another one here, here, I guess. For now, we can just put it there. And I'm gonna... Uh, let me make a source gem. And I'm gonna see if, if I... Oh! <gasps> Yay! It works! Okay, wait. So, it didn't actually use this up. Oh. Oh! So you can make more! Okay, cool, cool. So, oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, add source nearby to, incre to increase craft speed. Okay, but what do you put in the source? I'm guessing it's a source gem. Oh, man, I need to speed up the process of source gem making somehow. I'm not really sure how, though. Okay, let's see if this works. No! It's not that either? <sighs> now I'm just confused. What are you supposed to put in here? I'm gonna have to look it up. Maybe... Oh, maybe in... Tell me I have it. Oh, here, here. Okay, let me check. Um... I wish it was a search. Uh, let's see. Okay, guys, so check this out. The agronomic source link generates source from crop and tree growth within 15 blocks. Bonus source is generated for magical plants such as mage bloom, source berry bushes, and archwood saplings. Source will be output from the source link to nearby jars within 5 blocks. Oh my god. So, if we make the agronomic source link, which... Okay, you need two source gems. Okay, we can do, we can do this, and then we make a source berry farm. Put the the aggro thing in the middle, put the source jars, what was it, like five blocks radius or whatever, and then we should be able to make source, right? To power our machines? I think that's how we can do it. So I'm gonna have to make myself a source berry farm. Now I'm not gonna make anything fancy today because I'm gonna be working on the village today. Um, but we can set up a tiny little makeshift farm right now. 
Um, and then later, maybe next episode, I can build a proper, like, cute little structure for it. So, I'm thinking maybe here. And hold on, I'm gonna sleep because I don't want to get ambushed by another freaking spriggan. Okay, so, I think we should make the Sourceberry Farm here, in this area, because it's the magic place, the Fairy Grove. So, I think we can do it maybe here. This has a lot of open space, and this tree never grew, damn it. Okay, uh, I guess, mm, maybe if I put it here. Alright, so, let's make a little Sourceberry Farm here. So, I'm gonna make a structure. I am putting Melody to, f to shovel snow for me. I don't know why she's not doing it. Hello, Enderman. Okay, so I'm gonna grab... Um, actually, I can just... You know what? I'll just make a new one. So, we need... They need water to grow, right? I don't know, actually. But what we can do is we can grab some water. Oh, hello. Goodbye. So, let me grab this water. I'm gonna put a source of water in the middle, and then I'm gonna uh, put a slab on top of it. And then on top of the slab... We can probably put our, the aggro whatever. So I'm going to put, let's just do oak so we can save our archwood. <clears throat> and I'm going to, where are my source berries? There we are. So I'm going to put, okay, yeah. Thank you, Melody. I really need your help too with this stupid snow. So let's start with this, right? And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to plant these. I hope she doesn't step in this. Um... Just be careful, my ability. Do not want you to take damage and die. That would be very bad. Oh, wait, what? Don't do that. Okay. I really need to clear my inventory. Oh my gosh. So we still need to actually use our essence because we did get it. So, all right, just give me a second. Let me, let me do this because now I'm distracted. <laughs> so I'm going to put another source gem in here. I want to collect as many as I can. And then I think what I was doing was I'm, I was making a... S What's it called? A spell thing with the essence? The healing spell. Right, right, right. Okay. I to totally forgot. All right. Let me... Give me that. She's like taking all my stuff. So now we have our little sorcery farm here. I'm going to make the aggro... Aggro... There it is. Agronomic source link. So we need gold, wheat, and source gems. Okay. I don't have any wheat. So I'm going to go grab some really quick. Okay, guys, I brought one piece of wheat, so I think that should be enough for the recipe. Let's try to make it. Yay! We can do it. I am so excited. I feel so, like, proud of myself for actually being able to do this mod. Because I was so intimidated by it when I first saw it, but I really wanted to try it out. And I had no idea how complicated it was. Anyway, let's put this here. So, uh, let me reread what that thing said. So, generate source from crop and tree growth within 15 blocks. So uh, bonus source is generated for magical plants, such as may- Okay, source will be output from the source link to nearby jars within five- Okay, so hold on. If it's- Um, I think I need to switch this the other way around. Um, can I mine this with shears? No. Did I waste this? Okay, I guess it's fine. We have a lot of source berries. So I'm going to break this. And I'm going to have to put the jars um, in the five block radius. So I'm going to just put... This was pretty easy to make, right? Was it just like glass? Let me check. Jar. All right. So I'm going to have to get more glass. And we can place like a little ring of jars. Or maybe I'll just start with like a four, four placement here. Um, but around this, we're going to put the, the crops. So, um, you know what? Let me do this. Let me, um, hold on. Let me, I need to mine this. Oh God, it scared me. Jesus. Okay. So I'm going to put this as dirt so Melody doesn't get confused but now we can do we can give her the task of placing some source berries for us I'm gonna just do this is this that's not centered hold on <laughs> it's so hard to tell okay think like that now it's a circle wait <laughs> oh 
<laughs> I messed up. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Okay, I think this is centered now. Well, it's an oval. But whatever. We can expand it. Anyway, so what I was going to do is I'm going to give Melody the source berries. So I hope if she just... Okay, you know what? Let me just put this here. And I'm going to give her the... Uh, farm task. So now she should plant these. Unless, maybe it won't let her because it's like a, it, it'll make her take damage. I don't know. Come on, Melody, do something. Do you not want to plant them? Melody! Okay, fine. I'll do it myself. I thought it would be super fun and cool if you would do it for me, but I guess not. Whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna plant all these source berries. There we go. And now we can grow them. I'm excited. Okay, let me make another source gem. And if you, if you noticed, it actually said over here, 1% full. 2% full, so it's working. And I see that the jar is filling up with some purple stuff, which is the source, obviously. I am so happy it's working. Okay, awesome. So let me just put this junk away. I need to clear this out. Um... Let's make the, let's make the spell. Let's make the spell that we were going to do in the first place. So I'm going to grab my spell book and I think we need something else, but I'm just going to go to tier two and make healing. Okay, so glistering melon we should be able to make. How do you make glistering melon? I forgot. Oh, okay. Simple enough. So let me see if I have any, no, okay. Do I not have any more? Okay, let's go get some more um, golden nuggets. I think it needed a golden apple too, right? So we're, oh man, we're, okay, yeah. Next episode, we're definitely going caving because I need a lot of gold. Actually, I had a great idea. Well, in theory, I think what we should do is actually go into like the ocean and go looking for underwater caves because we have a mermaid tail now. So we can actually just go swimming around and see what we can find because don't ores spawn way more commonly underwater anyway, so it's going to save us probably a lot of effort. And it's going to be less dangerous because it's going to be underwater, I would assume. So I have melon here, luckily, because there's melons growing all around our enchanted forest. Or not, not enchanted, our magical forest. Um, and now we need golden nuggets, which I have some. Some, oh, yeah, wait, am I running out of gold? No, we still have a lot, okay. Um, let me, so I think we need three, I think. Okay, we can just make more if we need it, but I also need a golden apple. I'm just gonna take all my gold. I'm just gonna take it with me in case. Okay, wait, so I need, ah, okay, I'm getting confused. I need an apple. Apple! Okay, let's go. The sun is setting. Um, I'm really excited. I'm gonna try, when we make our heal spell, I'm gonna try to hit it on an undead mob, like a zombie or something, and I'm gonna see if they actually take damage, because that's what it should do according to the description, if I understood correctly. Okay, so let me see. Did I grab everything correctly? Wait, what? Oh, I need four glistering. Oh, man, okay. Luckily, I brought the extra melons with me because that would be so annoying if I didn't. I'm like running around in circles here. Okay, heal, select. Oh, okay, cool. So we toss it. Ooh, this looks so cool. Oh my god. I love this UI. Little effect. Okay, our ma abjuration essence. Yippee! Oh my god, this is so awesome. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, it worked. Okay. Unlocked heal. Awesome. So now we can make our fourth spell, right? We don't have a fourth one. Yes. Okay. So we're going to call this healing. Or I'm just going to call it heal, actually. So let's do... Hold on. Apply spells to the block or entity that is targeted. Ooh. So it could be kind of like a... Uh, well... You know what? Let's do a projectile because I do more damage if it's a projectile, right? And this is supposed to do damage. And we can do an amplify. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah. Okay, wait. So let me. Um. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, and I can make a healing spell too, like a self heal. I think. Let me try that. Let me actually try. So let's do. This is gonna be uh, heal shot. Oops. Not no. Heal shot. <laughs> heal, sh heal shot. I'm gonna put the color as green, and we're gonna do the self self heal. So we're gonna do self heal amplify, and we're gonna put it as. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do yellow, and save. So let me try jumping off and taking a little da hold on. I need more source gems. I'm gonna try jumping off and taking a little bit of damage. I'm gonna see if it works. So I need to go to Oh wait, what? Why didn't it save? Heal shot. What? It didn't freaking save. That's so stupid. Self heal. Self heal amplify. Create. Change the color. Save. Okay, there we go. Let's just try this again. Well, I'm missing help. Anyway, I wanna I wanna see actually. Yes! Yes, that works! That freaking works! What's gonna be really difficult is like having to switch between the spells. I think I can set up like a wheel. So I'm probably gonna have to do that. But let's try the heal shot. So I wonder if. Let me do something a little cruel. Let's do something a little bit evil. Oh. Oh shoot, she's taking damage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Here. Wait. It isn't, it's not working. It's not working! No! Why? Heals a small amount of health and consumes hunger from the caster? I don't get it. Isn't it supposed to heal other people too? <sighs> Dude. Okay. Ow. That was karma, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna try... Man, maybe it's because she has like a... No, it shouldn't be because I, I went far away and I hit her with it. What? Maybe I can try on a mushroom girl or something. Oh, you know what? Spook. She was low health. Oh, wait. Spook is like all the way- oh, oh, man. I need to go pick up Spook. Let's go do that. Okay. I'm gonna go in my Gyrodyne. And I'm just gonna go at night. Whatever. Okay, so I need- I need Melody to come in my spell. Okay, I'm glad I can transport her so easily. It's really adorable. Let's go pick up Spook. I haven't forgotten about her. Uh, actually, let me get my things here. There we go. Wee. Okay, let's hope she's still there. I left her right next to the lava, I think. Mm. Spook. Oh, hi! Hi, Spook! There you are. Okay, so she's, she's like half health. I need to heal her. Let me put my thing down. Oh wait, don't tell me it's in the water. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, okay. Wait, spook. Let me let me heal you. It's going through her no. What? No. What if I do touch? Can I change it? Okay, hold on. Let me make a new one. Touch, heal, amplify, create. <laughs> it's not working! This is not a heal. This is just a self-heal then. That's not fair! Maybe there's another type of thing that's... I don't know. Maybe there's a different type of spell. Ugh. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess I have to just go with Spook now and walk. Because, uh... I don't- unless you can sit inside. Can you sit inside for me, Spook? No? Okay. That's fine. I don't even care. Let's go, Spook. Let's go home. Alright guys, we are back home. Spook is safe and sound, so the healing didn't work on her. I guess it's just not a other thing heal. It's just a self-heal, which is really lame. Maybe there's another spell for it, but 
I did give can I did give Spook a few candies, so at least she's full health now. But I'm still really sad about that. I think we're done here for today with Ars Nouveau, so I think it's time to work on the village. Now, before I start building, I actually wanted to try something. So since we have um, more houses now, I think what we can do is arrange a marriage for some of our villagers. And actually, you know what would be kind of fun? What if we made Eric marry someone? Oh, I think we should do that. Because Eric was hanging around the village last time I checked. So I think maybe, you know, he's all grown up now. I think he deserves to have a wife. I'm pretty sure he's heterosexual because it doesn't say on his thing or like his information that he's not. So I'm just going to find him a wife as soon as I actually figure out where he is. I hope he's still here. Eric, where are you? Who is that? Oh, that's just a minotaur. <laughs> Wait, no, not a not a minotaur. What are they called? Centaur. Oops. Okay, where is Eric? Eric. Where is he? I thought he was just here earlier. Oh, hi. There you are. Okay. Wait, Eric. Eric, come here. Follow me. Let's see. Who would make a fitting partner for Eric? Probably a pretty lady who is nice to him. <laughs> and someone who likes him. That's... What what is going on over there? There's like constantly a party at Stefan's house. Look at how many people there are here. Okay, let's go check these guys out. So we have Afa. We have Ali Alida. Uh, oh, wait. Irina. I like Irina. Wait, no, don't be stuck, guys. Okay, so Irina. Wait, come here. Where is she? Okay, here, here she is. I think she's not married, so I'm gonna make her follow me. And I think she would be a good wife because they're- she's an archer, Eric's a guard. It's like they kind of complete, complete each other, you know? So, you know what? Maybe Eric can have this nice big house over here so he can have room for- oh, hello, Stefan. What are you doing in here? Um. Uh, you're gonna have to leave. Do you mind, buddy? I need you to go. Yeah, okay, anyway. Okay, so Irina and Eric, I'm sure you guys have managed to make some sort of relationship as the time goes on, since Eric has been guarding the village for a while now. So, I have a little something for you guys. I think... Oh. Hello, hello, Alpha. We're... Oh, okay. Anyway, I have something for you, Eric. Uh, I do have two rings. Hi. Wait, hold on. Gift. Hi. Did it work? No. <laughs> Do I not do this correctly? Why does this never work? Wait. <gasps> Yay! It works! Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know, like, what... Uh, I guess it just marries the two closest... I don't know. Anyway. Well, congratulations, you two. Uh, this is awesome. Our first marriage in the village. I hope you're happy, Eric. I know Irina is gonna make a great wife. See, he's very happy. He's entertained. She's pleased. Couldn't have been any better. Okay, so. Oops. <laughs> Wanted to place a torch. So, this is gonna be their house. Well, Eric still lives at home, technically, but whatever. He can go chill out there. Anyway, so. Now that we have that, maybe they're gonna have a kid in the future. Or hopefully soon. Because we gotta get the village population up. So I'm gonna work on the village for a bit. I'm gonna try to make it look a bit nicer. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the chill building section for this episode, and I will see you soon.
Okay guys, welcome back to my talking segment. Oh, this is double-sided. Interesting. Okay, so I did a little bit of work on the village and I'm still nowhere near done. I have big plans for this place and it requires probably <laughs> multiple episodes of work, but I'm gonna show you what I did so far. I decided to do some stuff off camera just because the recording would be really long if I did it all um, on camera, and I wanted to just give you guys a little surprise. So let's see what I did. First of all, I replaced all of the path blocks with grass, well, dirt, and I hope all of it is now, um, I hope I didn't miss anything because there was so much path blocks and I just think it looks really hideous. So I decided to change all of it into dirt and then I added our pathway, which is bricks and cobblestone. So first of all, we have this little segment and it's kind of like off from the main course of the village, so I'm not really sure what to put here exactly. Um, we could put more houses or we can do like maybe a market or something. I mean, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to let me know um, in the comments because I mean, I don't have like a plan. I'm just kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of rolling with it. Uh, and then I also put some, some fairy lights. And down here is just a little segment where I don't really know what to put here either, but it would be cool if we could connect this path to over there to the main village and kind of have like stuff going on over here. Um, so we have some more pathways. Uh, oh my god, I just cleared the rain because I don't, I want you guys to actually see what's going on. Anyway, so then we continue down the path. We have our farm over here and I put a compost block. So I think this guy must be a farmer now. Oh. Yep. Okay. So we have a farmer and then over here, this place is really cute. So this is part of the magical forest biome. So I decided to put some mushroom houses and look how cute this one is. This is based off of our mushroom girl village. So we have two beds in each mushroom house and I still need to put win uh, windows. I totally forgot about that, but it's so cute. And then there's a little pond over here and another mushroom house. And I also kidnapped this <laughs> poor mushroom guy, which he's low health. Oh my God. And there's a little farm and this is his house. Uh, I just don't want him to escape. So until I put windows, I'm not going to let him off the lead. Anyway, so we have our existing houses and I, yeah, so I basically, I added the path and I also added some fairy lights and some of the night lights, which looks so cute. And over here, I decided to um, mirror the entrance of the library. So now there's like two entrances. So yeah, but I want this part to be the main entrance. And yeah, so we have, this place could be like a docking station, maybe like a fishing outpost or I don't know, something like that. And okay, so the last thing I want you guys to see is I wanted to replace the houses and kind of change their color palette, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. So um, I made a concept over here, a little house up here. And this is like um, the color palette I was thinking of doing. We have like cobble, spruce, this is warped wood and copper stairs. So I did spawn in the copper stairs because I don't really have any copper, but I want to know what you guys think of this palette. Um, I think it's pretty cute and I incorporated some of the winter wood. Um, so I think I'm gonna do something like this, which means I'm gonna have to go get copper. Probably when we mine next episode, I'm gonna go try to get some copper. And yeah, so I think it's pretty cute. So we have just basic inside. There's probably room for maybe three beds inside if we really squeeze in. Hello. Okay, not much. Anyway, so uh, tell me what you guys think of this. I would love to know your opinion. And oh, and I made a little staircase up here, but I didn't really add anything up here besides replacing the path. Hello, Eric. Okay. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry that I didn't record all of the progress. I just, I had to do a lot of work. I, it's actually the next day, so this took me a, a long time. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna stand here on the pond. <laughs> I'm still wearing my Christmas sweater. Actually, we're in spring now. This is the first day of spring, so everything looks a bit more green now. But it's still winter in real life, so I'm gonna be wearing my Christmas sweater. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to leave a like if you want to see more fairy core episodes in the future and be sure to check out my etsy store if you want to buy some cute stationery or clothes that i design and with that being said i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you all next time bye